Zootopia and Market with Balloons. And today, I am so excited. I can't even contain myself because I wanted to show you guys this one for so long. This is one of my favorite things, one of my best sellers. It's a giant clown. And when I say giant, I mean huge. I mean really giant, like larger than life size. This was originally, um, I, think, I think originally maybe by Chris Horn. I've been doing it for like 20 years, so I, I, it's kind of hard to remember. Um, and I don't know how much of his original design is still in it versus what I've changed over the years. Uh, but just to give credit where credit's due, that's where it came from to begin with. Anyways, I'm, I'm so excited about this one. Okay, so this one's a little bit weird in that we're using a lot of different size balloons and a lot of different types of balloons. And not only that, but um, we're starting it with a quad of two different size balloons. So that's, that's a little bit weird, a little bit different. So to start with, we've got these 16 inch balloons. So, so uh, these 16 inch balloons, they're blown up to about 11 inches. And so you can see that makes them quite round and also quite squishy. So we don't want to blow them up fully. We generally never want to blow balloons up fully unless you're putting helium in them because you want to have some squish factor so that if there's any temperature changes or anything like that, it's going to do okay with it. Anyway, so we're starting with the balloons. The 16 inch balloons inflate it to about an 11 inch. And then we've got 11 inch balloons that are inflated to, I'm going to say this is probably about a seven and a half inch or so. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah. All right. Okay, so what we're going to do is the blue ones are going in front and the red ones, and you can change up the colors. I'm doing it in blue, red, and yellow just because I, you know, I think those are great colors for a clown type thing. And then now, once you put those red balloons on, we want to lock it down. So we're just going to flip one over the other. Okay, now you see we have a pretty good size difference here. And if we don't address this, then we're going to, um, everything is going to kind of lean. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take some five inch balloons. These are probably inflated to about a four inch. And we're just going to kind of put them on there so that it kind of brings everything up to the same level. And the reason that, the reason that, that we kind of want this size difference here is because these are going to be his feet and we kind of want them to stick out a little bit. So that's why we're using this kind of weird um, technique of different size. So this is definitely uh, a little bit more of an advanced design than I normally show you guys. Okay, so our next quad, this is 11 inch balloons, and I'd say that these are probably inflated to about uh, eight inches, eight and a half or so. Um, now's where the size differences are really gonna start to matter. Okay, so basically what we wanna do is we wanna kinda gradually go up in size. So our next quad, these are also 11 inch balloons, and these are pretty full. I'd say that these are probably about nine and a half, maybe almost a, about 10 inches. You see they still got some squish factor, but they're a little bit more, um, a little bit more fragile. Okay? And so just put that one on just like that. Our next quad, these are also 11 inch balloons. Now these ones are pretty much fully inflated to 11 inches. Um, so we're just going to put those on. So you see we're gradually going up in size. And so we're getting this kind of, uh, this kind of, um, it's going to be a kind of a slight, uh, Di triangle shape. Okay, so now we're moving to 16 inch balloons and we have these 16 inch balloons um, inflated to probably about 13 inches here. Okay, and this is going to be his legs and now we're going to move up to his top. And so here we've got uh, more 16 inch balloons in yellow and these ones are probably inflated to um, about 14 inches. So this is going to be his, his waist, his, the biggest part of it. And then we're going to go start graduating down again in size. Ew, a lot of static. <laughs> it's picking up so much schmutz and everything. All right. Whew. <laughs> now we go back to, now we're, we're going to start to go back into these sizes more or less. So this one I'd say is probably about, uh, probably about 13 inches, uh, maybe 12 and a half there. Again, what matters more is kind of the way the proportions relate to each other more than the actual numbers. But I will, um, I, if you look down in the, in the description, the, the whole list will be there. <laughs> Thank you. My lovely assistant there. All right, so here we're at, what do you think, Katie, about 12? I'd say 12. All right. 
And again, we're using these lamp base poles. Now, if you're doing this outside, you do not want to use the lamp bases, um, especially with a structure this big. Once we put the head on it, it's huge. And it, with a little bit of wind, it's going down. So um, if you're doing this outside, make sure that you've got a good footprint, I'd say a two by two. All right, and here we're going to our 11 inch balloons. Um, these ones are almost pretty fully inflated. I'd say they're about a 10 and a half. And our last cluster here, now this is going to be the collar, so we went back up again. So this one is probably about an 11 and a half or, or maybe even a 12. Okay. And we want to make sure this one gets on pretty good here um, because it's going to take a little bit of abuse in a minute. All right, so now I'm going to move this out of the way for just a moment, and I want to show you how we're going to do the arms. So this one has a lot of different, a, a lot of different layers and pieces to it. All right, so the arms we have, um, we're going to make it, well, let's see, I want six balloons here. Uh, four, five, six, okay. And this is actually going to be a six balloon spiral. So what we're going to do, <laughs> it's going to fall over there. Let me just move this over here for a moment. All right, what we're going to do for the six balloon spiral is we're going to take two of these balloons and we're going to tie them together. I'm just going to hold them here for a sec. Okay. So we're going to take two of these balloons and we're going to tie them together, just like this, and we're going to spiral them together. And if you want, you know, you can give them a little stretch to get a little bit more length out of them that way. Um, these are fully inflated with a good burp. You don't want them like full pressure. You want them to have a little bit of malleability. That is a hard, malleability, pliability, a little squish factor. All right, and so you're just spiraling it together just like that. And then twisting it off at the end. Okay. And now, actually what you're, <laughs> we skipped a step, that's okay, we can fix it. And that is that we actually want to have all of these tied together and then have all of them twisted together as if it was a quad. Okay, and since I skipped that step of having them all twisted together here, it's not a big deal. I can just take the nozzles and kind of thread it through and tie it together. So I, I end up with the same effect. Basically, the idea is that I want them all connected. Okay, and now I'm just gonna take one of those balloons and just follow that curve. And I wanna have a little stretch to it. So I'm just gonna follow the curve and kind of close it off with six friends, like that. And then I'm just gonna keep doing that until I've gotten all six colors into this. And our last one, kind of coming up with it. And following along, and then you can kind of tighten it by grabbing them and kind of twisting each side in opposite directions. So once you have those done, you're gonna actually have two of them, like this, and you wanna take a, uh, a 260, and we'll just turn this one into an uninflated 260. There you go. You wanna take a 260, and essentially, we're going to connect these two pieces together by just wrapping it on both sides. Just like that. Now these little bubbles I'm not gonna worry about, but if it's really big like that, I wanna bring it down to a smaller size. Just so that it's not gonna be in the way. I mean, basically these bubbles are gonna kinda hide. Yeah. My dentist isn't so happy with me doing that. <laughs> Use scissors. Now we have the arms, and we're going to take our uh, big giant thing here again, and basically we want it between the first and second cluster, so we're just going to okay, stretch it and kind of put it in there. And we'll play with the positioning and everything of this more later. Um, 
for now, it's enough to just kind of have them stuck in there. Now, we've got some five inch quads. So these are five inch balloons. These ones are probably inflated too. Uh, they're, they're pretty squishy, not quite a full five inches. It doesn't matter that much. I mean, you always wanna have, like I said, a little bit of squish factor, um, but you don't need an exact size on these as long as all four are the same. That's the important part. And we are going to take, ooh, we got balloons everywhere. All right. And static, wow. <laughs> We're gonna take a single white balloon, also a five inch balloon. Um, you can inflate it to a full five inches, you can inflate it to less, and we're gonna tie it to this quad, making a quint. And then we're going to tie it onto the arm. So it kind of becomes like a little ruffle arm with his little, uh, his little hand, just like that. And we're gonna do that on both sides. Tie it on, and tie it on over here. Okay, good, there we go. So now he's got his hands, kind of like jazz hand style. And now we're gonna start working on the head. So let me move this for a bit. Well, hey, all right. <laughs> This is big. All right, so this is a three foot balloon. It's white, so there, now you can see it. Um, and what we're gonna do is we actually wanna glue pieces onto this. So usually, you know, kind of figure out, why there's so much schmutz and stuff. Kind of figure out where, um, you know, if you wanna start on the top with the hair, you could do that and then put his eyes and the other features. So let's see. See if I can just kind of wedge it in there. All right, so we have, for the eyes, we've got some five inch balloons. I'm gonna start with the eyes um, and nose and mouth, and then I'm gonna do the hair after. So we have some five inch balloons. They're just inflated a tiny little bit. How much you inflate them depends on how big you want the eyes. And I'm cutting the nozzles off. And then I have here some sticky tabs, some little like kind of foamy double stick tape uh, or whatever kind of um, adhesive you like. You could use, uh, you, could use um, you know, medium temperature, hot glue, uh, whatever your adhesive of choice is. So we're just gonna attach this in a couple of places here. Kind of figure out where uh, where you think those eyes are going to be. This is always really um, really a challenge to do on a TV set be uh, uh, because you're kind of looking at it backwards. So I'm just going to hope for the best and hope that I get it lined up fairly even, and I make no promises. Do the same thing on the nose. And these, these uh, little tabs that I'm using are called uh, U-glue dashes, and I just love them. This is, this is what I use anytime I need to stick balloon to balloon or anything like that. Ooh, it should be about right for the nose there. Okay, and then we're just gonna take a little piece of a 260 for the mouth and tie off the rest. Cut it off. And you can embellish this, you know, as much or as little as you like. Like you could put crazy eyebrows, whatever you like to do. Kind of give this a little, a little curve so it's a happy mouth because it's a happy clown. This 
design just, it just makes me happy. I just love this one, I really do. It's, it's just a, it's a great greeter, you know, just kind of oversized and full of life and full of energy and just gets a great reaction. All right, so here we have his little face, like that, yeah? All right, now we're gonna make his hair. Stay, good boy. All right, so for his hair, let's see. We have these, um, these uh, curly cue balloons, and we're going to take 12 curly cues and tie them together, okay? And then we're gonna take these 12 curly cues and twist them all together. So let's see, we've got two of each color essentially. And I have some other videos on how to get, how to make curly cues. So um, please go look on my channel for those videos if you're trying to figure out how to do curly cues. Okay, now there's another way that you can do this because it's clown hair, it doesn't have to be perfect curly cues. So I wanna show you that another way uh, in just a second after I twist this one in. You don't know how to make curly cues because they don't need to be perfect is you can take a 260 that's fully inflated and basically you just kind of wrap it around your your hand or your arm and you want it to be a little bit squishy it's very important that it's a little bit squishy because what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of gently push uh, some pressure in and out and then when you let go it'll kind of train it so it's kind of it's not going to be as tight as the ones that you make as curly cues but if you just kind of work with it and play with it you can get a nice kind of a nice little curve to it um, and you know if you're gonna spring it open and make it kind of crazy that will totally work all right so having said that now here's where it gets a little bit tricky because as you can see it's a uh, it's a lot going on here and so we want to we want to take some of these and glue them to the top of his head um, so usually I, I'll glue about four of them to the top of his head or so. So you want to kind of like make sure that you have a, you have it kind of flat in there, like that. And um, and I you know I'm a big fan of using more glue than I need. Um, I just rather have it like really secure than be sorry. So. I'm putting two on each on each one. And with these, when you have it like all kind of crazy like this, you don't want to take the, the backing of the of the sticky tab off until you're actually uh, putting it onto the head. Because otherwise they'll stick to each other. Alright. So taking those little uh, those little paper backy tabby things off and it doesn't have to be exact remember this is <laughs> kind of crazy and a clown and a lot going on here so it's okay if you know you don't get everything like exactly symmetrical or or placed exactly whatever back and you pick up all your trash. Don't leave it for somebody else to deal with. Okay, so there we got the four that are going to be glued to his head. Oh well, that wasn't, that was a little bit too far back, wasn't it? Oh well. <laughs> like I said, doesn't have to be exact. But now what we're going to do anyway is we're going to kind of make, uncurl them a little bit and, you know, so hard to do this backwards and upside down like that. All right, so yeah, anyways, now we're gonna, we're gonna take some of these other ones and kind of pull them out and uncurl them a little bit so that they're kind of sticking out kind of wild. And uh, that will give us the effect. All right, and now we're gonna take a 260 that is uninflated. 
There, we're gonna take an uninflated 260. God, so much schmutz. And tie it to the, uh, under the knot on the nozzle. Just like so. Now let's bring our big guy back over. <clears throat> My director's like, stop moving those things. All right. And we're just going to tie it on using our two 260s and basically finding its happy place and snugging it down in there. And kind of crisscrossing it and tying it in so it's nice and tight and snug. Okay. So now's the time, once you're, see I told you this guy was just huge, once you're done with that. So now is the time that you can go in and kind of fix those arms the way you want them. And so there too, that's a place where, you know, if you really wanted to kind of hit, hold it a different, a certain angle, or if you wanted to hold something that you might want to, um, you might want to glue it in, you know, so it's exactly the way that you want it and kind of holding where you want it. Here we go, our great, big, huge, giant clown. And if you like this, make sure that you like my channel. I mean, make sure that you like the video. You subscribe to my channel. Hi. <laughs> and that you uh, tell your friends about it. And leave me a comment. Tell me, what else do you want? What else do you want to see? What do you like? What are you interested in? What should I make? Because I make a new video, I'm putting out one every single week. And if I don't know what you guys want to learn, then I'm just going to keep doing whatever I feel like doing. All right. Well, I will see you guys next week.